hello 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 to all my friends hi friends good morning or good afternoon or good evening whatever time it is that you're watching we're going to have fun today friends guess what we are going to use play-doh so grab play-doh if you have some we're going to create some really cool shapes okay we'll do a little counting a little adding okay so we're going to have fun together we have an amazing story to read and we have two new animal friends friends what animal do you think miss shane is going to introduce today maybe a monkey we already met mr zebra and mrs giraffe what do you think friends so look down below friends here's our new friend oh hi mr monkey how are you mr monkey says hi to everyone oh mr monkey said he's so glad to be here and to meet all of you guys mr monkey you are really adorable you're cute i love your black hair and let's look at his eyes can i just show the preschool friends your eyes is that okay he said yes that's okay Oh, you have beautiful eyes, two of them. <laughs> One, two, all right. And he has two beautiful ears, right? One ear, <laughs> and there's the other ear. Oh, Mr. Monkey said, can we bring on his best friend, Mr. Tiger? Sure, I think that'd be a great idea. Okay, look, here comes Mr. Tiger. Hi, Mr. Tiger. We have two new friends. Mr. Tiger says hello to everyone and they're best buds. <laughs> they're giving each other a high five. They want to get a little closer to say hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, friends. Hello, boys and girls. Oh, what are they talking about, friends? Should we listen in? Oh, they said they're both happy to be here with us. And they said you guys are going to have a great time counting and reading stories with Miss Shannon. All right. So long, guys. Miss Shannon, we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us. Say bye-bye to the friends. Bye, friends. Okay, let's get started. Good morning, boys and girls. Today is January 27th. 2024. Let's spell January together and count from number one all the way to 27. Let's begin. J A N U A R Y J J January and J makes the J sound. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. Friends, we made it to 27 days in the month of January. And friends, do you know what today is? Yes, if you said Saturday, you are correct. Today is Saturday. Let's sing. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. All day long. All day long. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. All day long. All day long. Today is Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday. Friends, can you tell me what letter is at the beginning of Saturday. What letter do we see at the beginning? Do we see the letter S? If you said S, you are correct. Let's sing. Today is Saturday and yesterday was Friday. Today is Saturday and yesterday was Friday. Today is Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday. Happy, happy Saturday. Okay, friends, now that we know that today is Saturday and yesterday was Friday, what will tomorrow be? Hmm, did someone say Sunday 
and su su Sunday. When we say Sunday, we hear the s sound. If you said Sunday, you are correct. Give yourself a clap and a pat on the back. You did amazing. Good job, friends. Now, can you tell Miss Shannon how many days are in a week? Did someone say seven? If you said seven, you are correct. There are seven days in a week. Let's sing. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. How many days are in a week? Did someone say seven? Yep, someone said seven. Guess what, friends? We have five and we have two. Five and two is seven. Okay, friends, now that we've talked about the days of the week, Miss Shannon wants to talk about the season that we are currently in. Let's look over here and we have our season, which is winter. We're currently in the winter season. And guess what, friends? It snowed here in Maryland. Friends, it's been cold, but guess what? Today, it's really warm. Can you believe it, friends? We've had days where it felt like summer. And speaking of the warm weather, let's look at our weather chart here. It's always cold in the morning, friends, but guess what? It's warmed up and it's sunny outside. The clouds are there too. Oh, there goes our arrow. So Miss Shannon will have it between the clouds and the sun. It's a beautiful day though. I think we're going to sing, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. What do you think? Okay, friends, now that we've talked about the weather, can you tell me how many months are in a year? Do you see our months peaking here? There's January and February. We're going to sing about that. How many months are in a year? 12, 10 plus two is 12. Let's sing. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. There are 12 months in a year. And Miss Shannon likes to practice on her fingers. And I would like you to practice that way too, just so it can help you remember 10 and 2 is 12. Okay, friends, now that we've talked about the months of the year, what we sang about the months of the year, let's look at our affirmations. Today we will say, I am one of a kind. Today will be amazing. One more, I am amazing. Today will be fantastic. Good job, friends. All right, it's time for our shout outs. That means Miss Shannon's going to call you and you're going to jump up and down and all around because you made it to circle and story time with Miss Shannon today. All right, up first are the girls, ladies first, and then I will call the boys. Boys, you're up next. Okay, are my girls here today? Are my girls here today? I jump up down and all around my girls are here today hooray my girls here today good job girls all right the boys are next if you are a boy raise your hand and say miss shannon i'm a boy and i'm ready okay boys let's get started are my boys here today are my boys here today? I jump up, down, and all around. My boys are here today. Hooray. My boys are here today. All right, Miss Sheena knows she has boys and girls who are joining her from all over. And I'd like to see you jump up and down and all around together. Let's sing. We made it here today. We made it here today. I jump up, down, and all around. We made it here today. Hooray. 
we made here today. All right, friends, we made it here today. Let's stretch a little bit, sing a little bit, and then we'll get ready for our story. Arms up, 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 high, as high as you can, and bring them down. Let's stretch to the right. Let's stretch to the left. Let's stretch forward, don't fall. Let's stretch backwards, don't fall. Put your right arm up. Put your left arm up. Touch your head. Touch your shoulders. Touch your elbows. Touch your nose. Touch your chin. Touch your ears. Touch your belly. Did you eat breakfast this morning or lunch or dinner? <laughs> All right, friends, give yourselves a big squeeze. Okay. And I have some really fun moves that I'd like to show you. My preschool friends really enjoy this. Miss Shannon likes to do a little wiggle and I have my friends wiggle with me. So let's wiggle together. Are you ready? And then you have to freeze. Do you know what that means? When we say freeze, you have to pause and don't move, okay? Try not to. <laughs> okay, friends, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 everybody wiggle, 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 everybody wiggle, freeze. Are you frozen? <laughs> All right, friends, let's clap, 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 clap your hands, clap, clap, clap your hands, clap, clap, clap your hands. Everybody, everybody, clap your hands, freeze. All right, friends, are you ready? You're going to move your elbows, ready? Move, move, move those elbows, move, move, move those elbows, move, move, move those elbows. Everybody, everybody, move those elbows and arms freeze one more swim are you ready let's pretend we're at the beach or the pool swim swim everybody swim 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 everybody swim 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 everybody swim 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 everybody swim freeze Good job, friends. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more time. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Okay, friends. Let's sing about Mr. Sun. I said we would. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. All right, friends, good job. One more clap and a pat on the back. You did amazing and you are amazing. Okay, friends, let's get ready to read. We are going to read a special book today. It's one of Miss Shannon's favorite books. Let's get started. We're going to enjoy this. You Matter by Christian Robinson. For anyone who isn't sure if they matter, you do. The small stuff, too small to see. Those who swim with the tide and those who don't. The first to go and the last, you matter. When everyone thinks you're a pest, when something is just out of reach, when everyone is too busy to help, you matter. If you fall down, if you have to start all over again, sometimes home is far away. Sometimes 
time someone you love says goodbye. Sometimes you feel lost and alone, but you matter. Old and young, the first to go and the last. The small stuff, too small to see. You matter. Do you guys like that? Isn't that such a cool book? Now that we've read our book, it's time to grab our Play-Doh. Friends, Machina is using the color green and yellow. Let's get started. Okay, friends, guess what? Miss Shannon has her Play-Doh. I have yellow here and I have green here. I'm going to show you two different ways to have some fun with Play-Doh. And guess what? We can count with the Play-Doh and we can add. For those friends who are about to enter kindergarten, maybe pre-kindergarten, or maybe you're already in kindergarten, guess what? Miss Shannon is going to show you a cool way to do some math with Play-Doh. So first, we're going to take our green Play-Doh and create some circles, or you can also use our shapes here. We have little shapes, and they almost look like cookie cutters, but I call them Play-Doh cutters, and I have a roller here as well. So first, I'm going to show you how to shape your Play-Doh into a ball if you don't have those, and then I'm going to show you how you can create different shapes with our cutters, okay? So let's start with some green Play-Doh. And I encourage my students who are here at preschool with me to use both their hands. And we're going to roll that Play-Doh. When you roll it together, it becomes a ball. <laughs> and we made snow the other day, pretend snow, of course, with Play-Doh. And there you have one. Now, Miss Shannon, is going to just break it apart like that to create two. And I'm just gonna put one down. And then I'm going to put it right here. And let's create four. So we have one. Here's our second one. We have two. And if we want to get to the number four, how many more do we need? There's only two. Did someone say two more? All right, let's see what that looks like. Miss Shannon grabbed her Play-Doh again, and I just rolled it in a ball, right? It's squishy. And Miss Shannon's just going to put it right under there, just like that. Let's see how many we have so far. One, two, three. One more, four. Here's our Play-Doh again. And we're just going to roll that Play-Doh and place it right here. And guess what, friends? I've also been showing my pre-kindergarten students how to create a number, like the number four, with the Play-Doh. So let's try. Let's grab some Play-Doh. And this time, when we roll it together with our hands, we're going to do it this way so that our Play-Doh is actually going in a straight line down, vertical, okay? And we have a piece like this. And we'll place it right here. Okay, we're creating the number four. So first we have our straight line that goes down, and then we'll need another piece, just like this. And Machine is gonna show you two ways we can do this. You can take this one piece here and curve it this way, or you can take two pieces. You have one here and you can put the other there and you would attach it right there to create number four. Do you see that there? There's a straight line down. We come over and then you have one more little line that's vertical there. Do you guys see that? Four and one, two, three, four enjoying making this with Miss Shannon. Okay, now I want to show you some other shapes. Miss Shannon is just going to grab the Play-Doh here. You can do this two ways, friends. You can actually 
take both of your hands and spread it out like that flat <laughs> or you can take the roller and you can roll 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 your play-doh <laughs> roll 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 the play-doh either way you will still have a flat piece of play-doh okay and machine is going to use a star and here we have it here miss shannon is putting it up here and i'm holding on to this so i make sure that i have the star all right and i'm just going to press it through there's a star i have one star i think i'm going to go with three and there's my play-doh and friends again I can take the palm of my hand just like that and I'm going to put it up against here and if you're working on a surface below you you can do the same thing or you can also use an art easel as well just like Miss Shannon is okay there's that second star how many did Miss Shannon say she was creating three so we'll start out with three because this one we like to do a little addition, right? A little adding. There's our Play-Doh. Okay. There we have it. Machine is just spreading it out a little bit. And I can actually do this in the palm of my hand. <laughs> can you see that there? Okay. And, ooh, there we have it. Okay, friends, I'm just going to drop that Play-Doh right there and push it through. <laughs> Take off the little excess Play-Doh bits there. And I have my third star. Okay, friends, let's count these stars. How many stars do you see? One, two, three. Now, friends, if Miss Shannon took the four green circles or the green play-doh balls and move them over just a bit one two and i can put them in a row as well three four and what happens if miss shannon counts them and sees how many pieces of play-doh do i have all together with four green circles and three yellow stars, how many do I see in all? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven in all. Four plus three is seven. And guess what, friends? I can also add the addition sign. I need a line that goes straight down, a vertical line, and then I need a horizontal line. And this looks like a T or a cross, but we call this the addition sign. That means we're adding. And if we add four green circles and three yellow stars, how many will there be in all? Let's see. One, two, three, four plus one two three how many all together let's count all together one two three four five six seven seven in all and we can take the green play-doh or the yellow play-doh and we can create the number seven and I can turn it like this. <laughs> and there we have seven. <laughs> Four plus three is seven. Four plus three is seven. 
Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed that activity. We had some fun doing math today. Remember, you are awesome. You are intelligent and you are amazing. Yes, you. Until next time, friends, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.